I'm now going to call on uh, Her Excellency Dr. Monique Nsanza Baganwa, the Deputy Chairperson of the African Union Commission, to deliver her remarks. Welcome. Your Excellency, Antonio Pedro, the Acting Executive Secretary of the Economic Commission for Africa. Your Excellency, Ms. Ganu Arga, Minister of State for Foreign Affairs of Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. Your Excellencies, members of the Diplomatic Corps and representatives of international organizations, the African Union colleagues here present, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure and honor to be able to address you here today on behalf of His Excellency Musa Faki Mohammed, the chairperson of the African Union Commission, who could not make it on this auspicious day of the celebration of United Nations Day. This day provides an opportunity to highlight the UN's success, reflect on challenges, while raising awareness of its aims and aspirations. It's no secret that in recent times, our continent and the world as a whole has been plagued with challenges of different nature. More than ever, our cooperation and solidarity are needed to continue to build a better world. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate UN Day this year with this important theme of equality, freedom, and justice for all, it is our responsibility to ensure the freedom of women and girls and to bring equality and empowerment, to develop humanity, and to end war conflicts between nations, to create opportunities for all to enjoy a quality life, and to build resilience to climate change and achieve sustainable development. The world is forever evolving, and we must be able to evolve with it. We must always make room for innovation as it is critical to the future well-being of our continent and to drive economic growth. There should be an effort to keep strengthening our ways of working through the new world lens while being guided by our values and principles. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the African Union and the United Nations Partnership is one rooted in the principles of complementarity and respect. And this can be underscored in our many areas of cooperation. It is demanded of us, based on emerging needs, as we forge ever forward to attain our shared goals and vision as embodied in the African Union's Agenda 2063 and the UN's Agenda 2030, that building on our comparative advantages remains a fundamental aspect of strengthening our complementarity on operational support matters. On the important day, let us promise to continue to expand on our joint forces to achieve our goals and aspirations. I take this opportunity on behalf of the African Union Commission Chairperson and myself to amplify the unwavering support and cooperation of the African Union to continue to strengthen our partnership and our joint commitment to build the Africa we want. Thank you all for your kind attention.